First of all, you know, just kind of an overview. I mean, Teams is really becoming the, the ultimate communication tool for companies, regardless of size. And with the great desktop application and the incredible mobile app available, it only makes sense that these two really come together. So today I'm going to show you how you can use Dynamics 365 customer engagement inside your Teams channels to be even more productive with uh, functionality in CE called Collaborate. So this isn't something new. Uh, the enhanced collaboration uh, is newer. In 2019, the second wave of updates, Microsoft released enhanced Teams collaboration that allows you to uh, not only connect a record or a view to Teams, but also enable the setup wizard to in common data service to help guide you through making this connection and then give the option of adding members to the channel uh, if you are the owner as well. So uh, a very, uh, very great enhancement. So let's take a look at the setup process first. So you can see uh, I'm here in a demo environment. I just spun this up, uh, just basically a bunch of sample data here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, I'm gonna jump into the new admin center. And I'm gonna do that because as we're, we're slowly trying to move away from the classic or web uh, advanced settings views, uh, we're trying to you know do as much as we can here uh, if, if these continue to get updated. So I'm gonna jump into settings uh, in this environment. And this is going to give me a lot of the options that I would typically have in the advanced settings view. So I'm gonna jump into integration and Teams integration settings. And then you're gonna see this looks a little familiar. So I'm gonna jump into system settings here. And right down here on the very first tab under general, you're gonna see Microsoft Teams integration. So uh, for, for some time now, we've had the ability to enable basic Teams integration. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click yes there. That's going to uh, bring up a box here asking me to confirm. So collaborate easy with Microsoft Teams. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And this can take a little bit of time when you're first getting. We've got both our basic and enhanced integration uh, going now. So we'll get out of here and get back over to our customer engagement environment. So uh, to start off, I'm going to show you a few different things. Um, I've actually got my Teams environment for this demo org spun up in the background also. So this would be you know, no different than what you would have for your own company. Uh, you're obviously going to have different channels and teams set up in yours. Here I've got four different teams and uh, different uh, channels under each of them. So you're always going to carry the general channel under a team, and then we've created a couple of different ones just for testing purposes. So a couple of different ways that you can use this Teams and Dynamics 365 integration. The first that I'll show you is actually from within Teams. So if I'm in Teams and I'm in my contacts channel right now, and maybe I wanna see a view of my contacts when I go to this channel. So we'll jump into the general channel. You find the plus icon here to add a tab. And that's going to add the Dynamics 365 uh, icon here so that I can go in and grab a specific record or a view. So maybe I wanna look at uh, views for my contacts. So I'm gonna come down to my contacts and maybe I'll have the default be my active contacts. Now, when I grab that, it's going to automatically create this tab up here. And within this tab, I can actually go in, I can rename it, and I can remove it right from here. I could go in and I could continue to add additional tabs up here, uh, even multiple Dynamics 365 views of records. So now that I've got within my general channel, uh, my active contacts as a tab, when I come into this channel, you know, the rest of this stuff is going to look pretty familiar. So I've gone in and I've added my active contacts. So if I go over here, this is all interactive. So I can go in and I can grab admin PMG demo, which is a contact, some of the demo data that I've got in this environment. 
And if I was to click on that hyperlink, it's going to bring that record up. And within this record, I can go in and I can edit it. So if I was to say consultant here, oops, now I have the ability to save this record all from within Teams. So you can see how valuable this would be to be able to use your, your primary communication tool being Teams with Dynamics 365 and not have to navigate between the uh, two environments. So very cool. You've still got your command bar up here for this particular record and I can still navigate to additional records. Also, when I'm in my view here, so if I go back into my my active contacts, it's going to reload that view. I can go in and I can use my view selector to look at additional uh, views that are available. So uh, again, permission based, but this is all interactive, which is great. So now, now that I've shown you how we've added a different view, now maybe I want to add a particular record to a channel. So what I'll do is I'll go in and I will add one more channel. So we will add the channel. Um, Let's see, maybe we want to add Alex Simmons. I can see Alex Simmons in the background here. So we'll go ahead and we'll add a new channel. It's going to create it here. And now I want to add that particular record. So I'm going to come in and again, I'm going to add the Dynamics 365 10. And I'm going to search for, whoops. Search for Alex Simmons. I don't know, it'll probably be a little easier if I search by contact. So now I've got my Alex Simmons contact record, so I'll grab that. Um, it shows that uh, I can add somebody, uh, diff additional member to this particular record, but I'm just for now going to go ahead and create it. But you do have that ability. You'd likely see a lot more options in yours because I'm working with demo data and I've as I've been playing around this environment, you can see I got my script error there. So now I've got this particular record pinned as a tab to this channel. So I can come in and again, this will, this will just be here unless I decide to remove it and I could rename it. But you can see how if you were to go in and add a channel for maybe particular accounts or contacts or opportunities that you're working with, this could be quite beneficial. I'm gonna jump over to our contacts view and looking at this particular view we're on my active contacts if I wanted to grab this and send it over to teams here's my collaborate button I can actually go in and I can grab a different view if I wanted to so you don't want to see all contacts uh, I will grab the collaborate button here the wizard pops up it started so now maybe I want to put this into contacts. If I was to do so, that's going to give me the list. So I had just created this particular channel uh, and it's showing up now and obviously I've got my general channel. So we'll add this to our general channel, click finish. And it really doesn't take very long. And all of a sudden uh, it is in our Teams environment. So there you can see active contacts. Previously when we were creating from within Teams, we added my active contacts. So now I've got these both uh, tabs up on here. A little unnecessary because you know you can go in and you, you do have access to your view selector here, but just showing you how that works. So we've added this particular view to our contacts. Now let's jump back over and see what it looks like to add an actual contact. Maybe we'll grab Ricky Bobby here and get Ricky Bobby into our Teams environment. So our button ends up all the way down here. And a lot of times you will see it up here, but um, if you don't see it, just grab your ellipses and, and you'll likely see it um, available to you there. So I'm going to grab contacts, go into it. And you can see that I could have created a new team there. Similar to here, I can create a new channel. You can actually do both of those within Dynamics. So now I'm going to create a Ricky Bobby channel. And I also, similar to when we were in Teams before, I have the ability to add uh, a member to this channel. But I'll just go ahead and skip that for now. It's going to take a second here. It's going to create that Teams channel. And then we can come right back over. You can see it's already in there. 
pretty fast. Um, I've got the ability to post here, and I've got this record available to me as well. So now, again, all interactive. I can go in. I can add a phone number here, and I can save this record. And now that's updated here as well as in my customer engagement environment. So hopefully you see the, the added benefits that this collaboration brings to the table. Uh, you, can, you can basically put your users in here that are using Microsoft Teams for uh, the majority of their communication and, and give them that ability to not have to navigate between two environments because you can do a lot of the same stuff right here uh, using your Microsoft Teams environment versus having to switch between the two.